the light of Tiro knew the consequences of challenging an institution of apartheid. They knew what it meant to challenge this Goliath kind of a regime. And they knew that death would actually follow. I'm here because Tiro is, and I didn't say was, Tiro is fundamentally an African to the core. It is only an African who is confident in his dignity and the dignity of his Africanity who can perceive the shackles of oppression and exhibit a strong desire for self-reliance, liberation, and the willingness to die for that identity. Such Africans, like Tiro, live even in death. The Tiro personality, his top structure, his top processes, and self-confidence are desperately what is needed in Africa now. Any authentic African leader has a vision and a followership who believe in this vision. A real leader has a creative personality. Think about Tiro at that age. Think about Biko. We remember when Tiro was, was, was standing in this very podium giving that speech that year. Nobody expected that speech, but he just came and the speech turned the history. The speech directed the course of the history. We are here because of the speech. As a contemporary of, of uh, Unkoputi Tiro, I can only take my hat off for the university and the, um, the trend that it is setting. Um, I'm emotionally motivated actually. He actually promoted the black unity and etc. Um, and I would like to thank everybody who started this thing, who organized this thing, um, saying Amanda to him.